Six officers closed down portions of the South Loop Access Road near University this morning after a burglary that turned into a SWAT situation. Police say their officers responded to an early morning burglary but couldn't find the suspect. Then at 4.30 in the morning, 45-year-old Anthony Casayas returned trying to break in again. They say he knew the victim. When officers arrived, he was actually locked in a car trying to harm himself. Police then called in the SWAT negotiators as he became more aggressive, but finally they were able to tase him and get him safely out of that car without hurting himself or others. He's now in custody and charged with burglary. Well, with the school year just getting underway, student safety is weighing heavily on the minds of everyone, even the FBI, who's now teaming up with our local authorities to send out a warning. One of the biggest things our police, the sheriff, the district attorney and the FBI touched on are hoax threats. There was a number of these last year. You'll remember the incident at Friendship. Some of those posted to social media. Well, Police Chief Greg Stevens says they take these threats seriously. I want to really emphasize that this is not a joke. A hoax threat is, is serious. It's not a joke and, and we take them very seriously. They cause panic and, and stress in our schools with the students, with our parents, with the faculty, uh, and with law enforcement. And, and um, they elicit a response. They're not ignored and they tie up our public safety resources. The district attorney also adding that they will be prosecuting anyone that's committing these threats that turn out to be fake.